everybody, it's Jeff Williams, and today I'm out here doing two of my favorite things. You know, I've been out catfishing. You can see I'm here in the V-Mag. I've got all the team catfish rods out. We caught a few catfish this morning. But one of my all-time favorite things to do is to come out here and catch summertime crappie. And I'm going to show you some tips on how I find those crappie, how I target them, and how I catch them. Now, I'm out here in the new 196 Charger V-Mag, and I've got some Garmin Electronics. My son Hayden's helping me do the video. I'm going to have him uh, film this as we drive over this brush pile right here. We're going to look and see if there's some crappie in there, and then I'm going to jump up there with the Garmin Live Scope, drop some minnows in that brush pile, and see if we can't pick off a few. Come on, let's go fishing. Okay, on my Garmin right here, I've got my GPS point 399 right there. I've got side imaging going this way, traditional 2D sonar over here, and then over here on this one, I've got my down scan. My down scan is on the full range here, and then it's on the zoom side right here. So I've got everything I need once I drive over this brush pile right here at 399 to look and see if there's any crappie in there. Oh yeah. Okay, so right here we've got crappie on top of the pile and on the edges of the pile right here. And that's what I'm going to be dropping my uh, minnows down into. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing here. Now we've got some uh, light action, medium light action flea fly equipment. Um, and we're using monofilament. I've got a Bait Boss light wire circle hook. And like I said, I am going to be fishing with minnows. So uh, we've got our uh, bait tank in the back of the Charger V-Mag, and I just scoop out a few of those minnows, and it's Hayden, my son, who guides here on the lake, is up there fishing with me, and I'm getting ready to show you what the uh, minnows look like when they go down into the brush pile on the Garmin Live Scope, and you just do this over and over and over once you find a good active pile of crappie. It is a lot of fun. Okay, I'm going down... There you can see my mana and sinkers going down. Those are bluegill at the top, but I'm going to stop my sinker right there up on top of that pile, and my minnow is sitting right on top of the pile. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit and see if I can coax one of those crappie. There he is right there. He just come out of there, and there you can see him coming up on the live scope. And there he is, guys, just like that. Sweetness. That is a super duper nice crappie. I tell you what, this is how we're catching crappie in the Charger V Mag with the flea fly tackle out here on Grand Lake, and we love it. It doesn't get much better in summertime crappie fishing. So, anyway, uh, we're going to drop back down in there a couple more times and see if we can get a close. But that is a really, really nice, probably 12, 12 and a half inch crappie here on Grand Lake. We'll let that guy go and catch you later. Hey, now I hope that short video helped you be able to put more crappie in your boat using Garmin LiveScope. Now, I showed you how to find the fish on the down scan. I showed you how to drop the minnows down into the brush on LiveScope. And once you do that, it's just crappie after crappie over and over. The one thing I will tell you that boat control is ultra important when you're out there on these windy days and brush piles. And I would encourage you to look at the Charger V-Mag. That is the stickiest boat I've ever been on. It just does not hardly move once you're up on top of those piles. I hope that you enjoyed the Old Pops video. And I hope you tell your friends. We'll catch you all later. Good luck out there.